Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the whole what's in my dock thing. There's not too much in my dock compared to what it came with in Leopard. Uh, I just kind of like to keep it simple. There's the application stack for anything that you really need to get to. But, uh, Finder, you know, that's just default. Then you got Dashboard, Mail, then I've got iChat. Getting a little country there. Of course, everybody out there probably thinks my country is a mess anyway. You've got WebKit, Firefox 3, Release Candidate 1, which completely off topic. I have, I believe I have a leopard-ish, safari-ish, yeah, uh, skin for this, but still a lot of the, the plugins that Firefox has do not work with this yet, but it's pretty good. You know, if you've seen my video on Fission, you've got the little load thing up there at the top. I just really prefer the look of Safari to, to uh, Firefox, so that's why I use Safari. Okay, you've got your address book, iCal, iTunes, iPhoto, iMovie HD, iMovie, which is the 08, iDVD, GarageBand, iWeb, um, pages, keynote numbers, you know, that's the whole iWork suite, uh, Xcode, which I use in my C++ programming class at college. I'm going into Java next semester, and I'm Pretty sure I'll be able to use this with that too. Xcode is a great coding tool, but it's kind of confusing at first if you really have no idea what you're doing because I didn't, and Xcode was confusing as mess. Uh, Photo Booth, Word, you know, as I said, that's Word 08. Your Spaces icon, Time Machine, System Preferences, and then I'm using ScreenFlow to record this. And this is the 2D doc uh, in my dashboard. I thought it was loaded. Oh, we had to relaunch the dock. That's why. Okay, there's. If you've ever heard of it, if you'd like to have an easy way to change the look of the dock from the 2D to the 3D dock, uh, you can do it in Onyx. If you just do a Google search, you'll find Onyx. It's, it's a Mac OS 10 optimization software tool thing. But if you'd like just a quick and painless way, uh, search Dock Doctor right here. And uh, it's just real simple, you know, 2D, 3D dock, you click it, the restart dock thing will flash, and you restart. And you got your 3D dock. And to change it back, you just, just wait for the load, click 2D, and then restart again. And you're back to, if it comes back, there it is, the good old two-dimensional dock. Let's get that back out of the way. Uh, here's my application stack. Not too much there. Uh, like I said, I like to keep a, a lot of the big applications that I don't use that often off of it, off of the laptop hard drive because, I don't know, I'm just a fanatic about it. I like seeing higher numbers in the free part of my hard drive. Let's see. I think it has, yeah, 92 gigs. I actually had it down to like 70 when I had Parallels installed on here using Windows XP during college, but I took that off because it was taking up like 15 gigs of space and it's just not worth it. So, yeah. Uh, if For any of you coders out there, we use JGrasp in my C++ programming class. Um, that's a great coding tool. It's very simple. Uh, the only hard part about it is getting the, uh, what is it? The G++, but those of you who aren't in coding, you're probably not going to understand that. So. I need to worry there. Uh, but yeah, you've seen it. Uh, the application stack. For those of you looking for this thing here, the little white box that goes around everything, do a Google search for Macworld uh, stacks, tips, things. Uh, the Macworld is a great place. They give you uh, Macworld.com. They, they have a whole bunch of little tips on how to make Leopard your own, basically. Uh, so, it's just a quick little terminal hack, you know, copy-paste some words in there, and you're good to go, and restart your dog. So, got the utilities, and everybody's seen that. Then my documents, not much there, because I've moved all my second semester college documents to my passport hard drive. 
So, um, I believe that's about it. If you're wondering about these little boxes here, uh, it was actually kind of hard to find. Uh, just, like I said, I keep telling you to Google stuff. But if you Google, uh, I don't know what you'd type in, uh, something with stacks and little boxes. I don't know. Uh, but is it, it's some uh, Japanese people that created this. And uh, if you can find it online, just download it. And then you just drag that into your applications folder. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Just because it looks more, I don't know, I like it. So um, that's my doc. That's Candy Bar. Uh, I don't think there was anything else that I wanted to go over. Let's see. I wonder how many minutes I'm up. I'll quickly show you an app called Mac Tracker. For those of you who are wanting to know some more information about your particular Mac or anything that Apple has ever created, this is the app for you. It's about a 20 megabyte download. Uh, and just Google Mac Tracker. I think you can get it from, uh, gosh, I'm not sure. But they've got every everything ever made by Apple. It's a bunch. You know, the eyesight. You just double click it. And it'll open it up, tell you when it was introduced, like it was introduced June 03. Initial price was 140, 150. And it was removed or discontinued December of 06. And all this other good stuff. Not sure really why you'd want to know that. But for me, for example. Okay, sorry about that. I have a MacBook Pro. So you'll click that. And I have a mid late 07 15 inch. And here's all the information that you'll ever need to know about it. And uh, you know, your memory, it tells you the maximum amount of RAM you can have. In case you're wondering, in case you've got that MacBook or MacBook Pro that won't support 4 gigs, uh, this will certainly let you know. And if anyone ever has any questions about what your computer processor, the graphics, or anything like that, tells you everything you need to know about the hard drive, the battery, airport, Bluetooth, Ethernet, you, how many USB ports you have, how many firewire, and which ones, all that good stuff. History, there's not much history. And if you want to add something, you know, you can do that. You can even listen to the startup chime. You know. You may not be able to hear that, but yeah. And if you ever need to know if you've got the latest firmware, if for some reason that's hard to find, it'll also tell you the firmware update. Of course I have that, but that's actually a link where you can go and download it. So yeah, you've got every every Mac thing, software everything that you that they have ever created and they've even got a my models thing here and you can add in type in the serial number so if you ever need that you've got that right here so yeah that's that uh, let's see that's about it um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and if you have any questions about any of the apps that I showed you uh, candy bar um, anything like that just post a comment video response or you can send me a PM whatever and uh, I look forward to seeing y'all next the video Ugh, wow I look forward to seeing you in the next video I uh, hope you enjoyed it thanks mm -hmm.